Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and I just watched Xiaomi's Mi Mix 4 Mi Pad 5 launch event, and not only did they just announce the new tablet and the new Mi Mix 4, they also announced some ecosystem products, including this speaker, including some new TVs, which will probably only be out in China for now, and this cyber dog, which is... The cyber dog was blowing my mind. So without further ado, let's jump right in and let's do a quick recap of this event. And uh, let's go over to Mi Mix 4, the Mi Pad 5, and let's look at what this dog is because my God, I'm so excited. So let's go. So after a one hour speech of Lei June satisfying all the shareholders, we finally got to the Mi Mix 4. The Mi Mix 4 finally has that camera under the display panel. It's got a 6.67 inch AMOLED display with a 2400 by 1080 pixels resolution with a 120 Hz refresh rate, 480 Hz touch input sample rate, and it's got a 400 pixels per inch pixel density, which internally makes it their third generation under display camera, which they call CUP or camera under panel. That under display camera has a 20 megapixel resolution and it should be uh, optimized to enhance the camera resolution in terms of its noise reduction and color enhancements because it is below that display. It's got a unibody ceramic design as we're used to with the Mix series. It's got an improved process of baking the ceramic though that's both stronger and making it 30% lighter. On the back it's got a very similar camera setup to what we have seen on the Mi 11 Ultra but it is quite a big difference. It's got a 108 megapixel 7p main lens with optical image stabilization on that super large sensor and it's got an improved 120 degrees 6p ultra wide angle lens which should totally remove the optical distortion that you typically get with these ultra wide angle lenses. But unfortunately this is only a 13 megapixel ultra wide. It's got a 120 millimeter 5x telephoto lens with uh, optical image stabilization but unfortunately that one is only 8 megapixels so it kind of looks like it is a Mi Ultra camera setup but it uh, it really isn't. It does sport a Snapdragon 888 Plus and they mentioned that the design is optimized to prevent overheating the processor, but that's something that we should probably see and try out. It's got eight or 12 gigs of uh, DDR5 RAM and 128, 256 or 512 gigs of UFS 3.1 storage. It's got a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. It supports 120 watts wire charging that should charge up to 80% in 10 minutes and 100% in 21 minutes. And it supports 50 watts wireless charging, which is also pretty good. For now, the Mi Mix 4 is only coming out in China, starting at 5,000 RMB for the entry level model, which comes down to around 770 US dollars or about 550 euros. Then we got to the Mi Pad 5 and Mi Pad 5 Pro. With an 11 inch 2.5K display with a 2560 by 1600 pixels resolution, a 120 Hz refresh rate, we can find a 8600 milliamp hour battery with 67 watts charging on the Pro and an 8720 milliamp hour battery with 33 watts charging on the Mi Pad 5. The Mi Pad 5 comes with a Snapdragon 860 and the Pro comes with a Snapdragon 870 and both come with 6 gigs of RAM and either 128 or 256 gigs of storage options with the Mi Pad 5 also having an 8 gig RAM version. On the front both of them got a 8 megapixel lens for video calling and the Mi Pad 5 has a 13 megapixel rear lens while the Pro comes with a 50 megapixel main lens and an additional portrait lens. The Mi Pad 5 and 5 Pro have a bunch of accessories like this pretty nice looking stylus which can be charged when attached to the tablet and it's got this case with keyboard which is also looking great. In China the Mi Pad 5 is coming out for 2000 RMB for the entry level, 2300 RMB for the model with more storage which is about 355 US dollars and the Mi Pad 5 Pro starts at 2400 RMB and goes all the way up to 3500 RMB for the Pro model with 8 gigs of RAM which is around 550 US dollars for the max packed Pro model which is a really competitive price. Then they've announced a new smart speaker powered by Harman speakers. This comes with uh, Xiaomi's Xiaoi engine and you can uh, stereo pair them, also have them uh, spread through the house. It really looks like uh, Xiaomi's answer to the Apple HomePod mini, but it does look pretty interesting. It should be coming out uh, quite soon in China as well. 
Then they've shown uh, some of their new OLED TVs, including this 77-inch monstrosity. And I would totally love to review a Xiaomi TV, especially an OLED TV, sometime soon. So, uh, yo, Xiaomi. But to me, the biggest surprise and the best thing of this launch event was surely this totally unexpected cyber dog. This looks like Xiaomi's answer to the Boston Dynamics spot. Although it doesn't look as cute with this more dark color scheme. I don't have all the exact specs just yet, but it comes with a six microphone array for voice commands as it has an AI engine to process your voice commands. It's got a running speed of what seems to be three meters per second and it's got a 128 gigs SSD drive for its operating system and probably for storing some of its video footage and all. It seems to have six cameras built into the front and I'm guessing there will be a lot of sensors and perhaps some cameras in the back as well, although I'm not 100% sure. So it did seem to walk slow in the presentation, although on screen it did say 3 meters per second, which would be incredibly fast actually. But here's the thing that blew me away. It did a backflip. Let me repeat that again. It did a freaking backflip. It could also be seen to give a paw and it actually sits down, which looks pretty good. And there's a ton of more details about this cyber dog. And I assume that this, for now, is seemingly focused on being a surveillance and security device that can walk around your house as a portable surveillance camera that can uh, actually do some tricks as well. The Mi Fan's launch price of the cyber dog will be 10,000 RMB, which is really hard to believe, as that comes down to around 1,500 US dollars. So. I'm not sure if that is exactly the price that it's gonna go for, but I am surely, surely the most excited about this one as compared to the Mi Pad or the Mi Mix. And I am really looking forward to review this guy because that was a surprise. So what do you guys think of the Mi Mix launch event? Is the Mi Mix an upgrade that you're looking forward to? Do you like the design? Do you like the ceramic housing? Um, how about the Mi Pad 5? I think out of those two, I am most excited about the Mi Pad 5. It looks great, especially that stylus and the case with the keyboard. I am very interested in checking that guy out. But the thing that blew me away the most was that dog. I mean, I didn't see that one coming and I really hope to be reviewing that guy in the very near future. So hit me up in the comments and uh, let me know what you guys think. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.